everybody, look where I am. How excited am I? Let's see what they have to say here. Yep. Six foot distance. And we're good. Oh my God, I cannot wait to go inside.
Hi everyone, welcome back to the Thrill of the Thrift. If you are new to my channel, my name's Dee. Um, I am a thrifting addict and I also sell on eBay, Etsy, and do live sales here on YouTube. So um, if this is something that would interest you, please, by all means, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube will let you know anytime I, anytime I upload a new video. Today, I have a thrift haul for you. It is a thrift haul from Fuller's Flea Market and our Goodwill opened on Tuesday. So, you know, I ran there as soon as I found out they were open. They have made some changes um, as of right now. They don't have any um, specials going on. There are no uh, tag colors for the week right now. Um, it's going to be about a month before they start doing the color of the week. And the senior discount has been um, decreased from 25% to 15%. But they're having senior discount every day. So 15% every day versus 25% only on Tuesdays. I'll take it. I don't mind. So I, uh, I guess I'm going to start with Fuller's because I did go there first. And um, I did purchase a very large item. So I will insert a picture of that here. I only paid $40 for that curio cabinet. And y'all know I needed a second one for all of my precious moments. But I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I have to uh, kind of revamp my living room. Perhaps take something out. I am not quite sure yet. But anywho, so I bought the curio cabinet for $40. My daughter actually got these really pretty um, lace curtains with the scalloped edging. They have to be washed still, but um, she fell in love with them. So she got two, uh, I don't know if it's four panels or two long panels. I have no idea, but she got those. I don't remember what I spent to tell you the truth other than the $40. <laughs> it was probably like $5 for everything I'm going to show you. Plus, of course, the uh, curio cabinet. So then I saw this in the window and I just really thought it was very pretty. And it's like um, a bisque uh, type of ceramic. And it's just beautiful, I think. Very, very pretty. Has beautiful detailing on it. And it's in really great shape. There's no cracks, no chips. Um, I have no idea where it's made, but I knew somebody would just love this. It's a beautiful vase. So I got that, and then I found this really, really cool um, piece from Canada. 
This is Expo 67, Montreal, Canada. Look at this. 1967. Now, obviously, you can see it has a lot of crazing. I love crazing. I really do. I just think it it's, has so much character. Um, but it has uh, France, Germany, USA, Czechoslovakia, uh, Habitat, um, Scandinavia, USSR, Mexico, Great Britain, Canada, Place Diacuel Stadium. So this is from 1967. So I thought perhaps someone from Canada would love to have this collector's piece. And then I found this really cute restaurant wear set. It's a creamer and a sugar bowl. They're in excellent shape except there's something in there. <laughs> no cracks, no chips. And these are made by Mayor China, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. So I thought they were really cute. And this does not have a lid. It's not supposed to have a lid. It's an open sugar bowl. So I got that. And then I saw this and I just thought it was so cute. It's the perfect size for soup, chili. You could put cereal in it. I mean, fruit, it's pretty large for fruit, but I like fruit, so it's good for me. Um, but it's just really pretty. There was only one, and it's uh, it's actually Corel Coordinates stoneware. So I just, I thought it was really cute. And if you didn't want to eat out of it, this would make an adorable planter for fall. Absolutely. Would look even cute with like a pumpkin or something in there. Gotta think outside the box. Then I found these two bowls and I know that these are old and for the life of me, I cannot remember who makes them, but they're these little ridged bowls this one has just a tiny little chip right there. Just very tiny. It's more, it's, it's, it's more of, of a flea bite really than a really big chip. Uh, see if I can, there you go. But um, they just say USA on the bottom. And if anybody can help me with, these because I just can't remember. I saw someone else haul one. It was a larger one and I just, I can't remember who it was to look it up. So there's these two and these are the size for like soup or chili, you know, about the same size. And then I found, I, this has been sitting there and I just thought it's so pretty and it actually, at one point, um, had a candle in it. The whole inside was a candle. And it's it's just so pretty. It would be beautiful for fall or Christmas. It has like that mother of pearl uh, finish. Really, really pretty. Um, who makes it? Um, Belle Brands? Phoenix, Arizona, but I just thought it was really pretty. Then, this has been hanging on, they have this wall. It's like a giant pegboard, and it has all kinds of odds and ends, and this was hanging on there, <laughs> and I just thought, that reminded me of my grandmother's house. She had plates like this hanging on her wall in the dining room and I can't remember exactly what these are used for I have no idea but I just thought it was really cool and uh let me show you the the picture on the front obviously colonial times there 
So I grabbed it. I just thought it was really neat. I have to get some goo gone and get all this sticky stuff because there was tape on there. So I got that. Then I found um, on the same wall these very cool candle snuffers. Look how cool these are. So I grabbed those. And of course, my daughter is going to scarf this one. <laughs> And the last thing I got was this little um, thing. As you could see, it's still full of mud. It goes in the ground and you can hang, you know, like a little lantern off of it or whatever. So I just grabbed that for my, uh, for my garden. So that is what I got at Fuller's for about $45. All right. So Tuesday, today's Thursday, by the way, Tuesday, I went to Goodwill for the first time in almost three months. And I have to say, you saw the, the shop along. I would have thought the shelves would have been overflowing with stuff. And it was really disappointing to me. But that being said, I did find some neat stuff. So let me see if this is the correct receipt. Uh, like I said, so I got 15% off of everything. So I got this awesome, look at this, this set of Elvis cards. This is like velvet and it's got fuzzies on it. But you pull this ribbon and here's the cards. I have to count them and make sure they're all here, but there's two decks in here. Very, very cool. And I know there's a lot of Elvis lovers out there. And I know there's a lot of vintage card lovers out there. So I got those. They were $349. With the then there's the discount, of course. So I grabbed those. Maybe I did spend, I think I spent this is a lot of money to me, but I spent $56. If this is the right receipt, all right. Then I grabbed this for my daughter. Oh my goodness, is this not, look at that handle. It is a purse and you could see it was $5.49. And then you open it and it has material inside a little pocket right here. And there it is. Handmade by Ethel Bird. That is is spectacular um and my daughter is keeping this she like i said i saw it and i grabbed it for her so that i just love this i think it is so unique look at that beautiful so i got that and also i got this for my daughter as well I FaceTimed her while I was there because she was working. She was so mad that she couldn't go. I got this for my daughter for $3.49. You can put all your little tchotchkes in there. And it opens. And you hang it on the wall. I have it upside down. It goes this way. <laughs> and there's the... The thing to hang it on the wall the sawtooth hanger so i thought that was a, a decent deal 349 i'll have to clean it and pass these off to her i'm gonna set them down here on the floor so i have a little bit of room all right now I'm t I said I wasn't going to keep buying cups and glasses and stuff like that, but 
I did look these up and they do sell for a decent price. Now I have six of these. One of them has a giant chip on it, but it's this set of Betty Boop cups. And all of them are in excellent condition except the one. They just have all these different scenes on them. And I know there are a lot of Betty Boop fans out there. There's this one. There's this one. <laughs> and this is the one with the giant chip right on the front. Look at that big chip. I'm sure they probably did it in the store, you know, but... So it's the set of six, and I have seen like sets of four go for like, I think it was like $24.99 or something like that. So, I mean, what I'll probably do is maybe I might sell them in sets of two. I may do a set of four and a set of two. And I mean, I may include this one as well and just, you know, show them that there's a chip. I haven't decided yet, but I forgot what I paid. Oh, here. I I paid $10.39, less 25% for the six of these. But the only reason I spent that amount is because I know I could make a profit with them. So that's why I grabbed those. This is so dang cute. Now, I've already sold one of these, and it was a planter. This is, look at this. This is a spaghetti dog. And he is basically a bookend. He's made in Italy. He was $5.49, less the 15%. And there's that on the bottom. I did not see any... Any chips or cracks or anything. A uh, little bit of like paint loss on the edges. But other than that, it's in great shape. So I grabbed him. He's just too cute. Oh my goodness. I also purchased this. And I actually sent an email to Scott at the old curiosity shop to help me out with this item. Uh, thank you so much, Scott. Um, I knew I knew that this was like from the 1930s, it's Art Deco, um, but I wasn't sure of, you know, who made it or anything. It just said like USA on the bottom. And Scott emailed me back and told me who, who the uh, company was that made this. And of course, I do have it written down, but I don't have it with me. But I'll have it, you know, in here somewhere for you. I paid $7.39 for this, and then the discount, of course. But I'm sure, you know, it'll sell. I'm hoping that I can sell it for about $25 to $30. I'm not quite sure. Um, I haven't really looked it up to see, you know, what's going on with it. I'm not sure. But if not, I may just keep it. I'm really, I'm not, I'm not sure. So, Scott, again, thank you so much for your help. I, I so appreciate it. And if any of you don't know who Scott is, his channel is The Old Curiosity Shop. And I will link his channel in the description box for you. You got to check him out. If you love stuff from like the early 1900s up to the 1960s, he's your man. And he is a wealth of knowledge. So there you go. So I got that. So I guess this is the right receipt because I just forgot how much I actually, you know, after you know, looking at the price tags, I guess I did spend $56. Then I bought this one. This one was $5.49. And I just thought it was really neat, kind of like the same Art Deco um, design. And this is made by, uh, oh my gosh, 
Abing, Abinga, oh my goodness. It's A B I N G D O H. Abingo pottery. I did look it up. Honestly, I did. Um, but that's the mark on the bottom, and, and it's very, it's kind of hard to read. But um, and this I as I said, I paid five forty nine for. But these are selling in upwards of thirty to forty dollars. So. Yes. So I got that. Then I saw this sitting on the shelf. And I, I actually what I saw first was the packaging. And I'm like, oh, that's got to be something really cool. And it was. $3.49 for this awesome... <laughs> tray with the coasters brand new in the packaging and it's um red and white wines imported from Romania by Monsieur Henry Wines Limited and I just thought it was so cool and I know that somebody who loves vintage like barware or whatever would like to have this it's got some some pretty cool graphics on there so I got that. And then finally, one of my favorite finds from the Goodwill that day. I'm going to, let me just undo this cord so I can show you guys because I want to plug it in so you can get the full effect. <laughs> oh, this cord is gross. I got to clean it. I got to clean it up. Is this awesome? Vintage Radio. It's made by Lloyd's. And I just want you to see. It works beautifully. I just want you to see when this lights up. There we go. That is just so cool. I love it. So... I had to grab this, and I don't remember exactly what it was. I'm thinking it was like $5.39, but I mean, this is awesome, and I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to keep it for myself, because I absolutely love it. So, so that is my haul from my shop with me at Goodwill. And my little excursion at Fuller's. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, comment, share. And uh, I will catch you very soon, guys. I have a live sale coming up. Not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, which is the 13th, I believe, of June at 1 o'clock. And um, I am going to have more haul videos. Yes, indeed. My daughter and I went thrifting yesterday, Wednesday, uh, all afternoon. So I have a lot of stuff to show you. So until then, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.